Here's your Farm and Ranch Report from the Montana Ag Network. Hello everyone, it's time for today's farm and ranch news. Well, today we see that wheat supplies around the world are large once again here in 2019. Because of that, U.S. producers are unfortunately expecting to see their price prospects lower once again due to that worldwide oversupply. Globally, we're looking at large supplies, especially northern hemisphere supplies. The United States will contribute to those larger supplies with a projected all wheat crop to be just under 2 billion bushels, up 5% from last year. USDA is also expecting to see increases in exports, but prices for wheat are expected to remain lower. Futures market and cash markets have been relatively weak, reflecting again these global supplies. Now, USDA has lowered their all wheat average price forecast by 20 cents to $4.80 per bushel, a drop of 36 cents from this past season average. In other news here today, we see that three finalists have been selected for the prestigious Montana Leopold Conservation Award. Given in honor of renowned conservationist Aldo Leopold, the award recognizes farmers, ranchers, foresters, and other landowners who inspire others with their dedication to land, water, and wildlife habitat management on private working land. Earlier this year, Montana landowners were encouraged to apply or be nominated for the award. Applications were reviewed by an independent panel of agricultural and conservation leaders. The finalists are Doug Crabtree and Anna Jones Crabtree of Haver, Craig and Connie French of Malta, and Bill and Dana Milton of Roundup. This is the first year the $10,000 award has been presented in Montana. The winners will be announced during the Montana Farm Bureau Convention coming up in Billings in November. Don't go too far. We have more Ag News coming up next. Get ready for fall with this exclusive Cooper Tire offer, only from Tirerama. Buy a set of qualifying Cooper Tires between September 9th and October 19th and receive up to a $100 rebate instantly. Choose from a wide selection of Cooper Tires, including the Discoverer SRX, ST Max, STT Pro, and AT3 line, as well as a highly rated CS5. Roll into fall with a new set of Coopers and an extra $100 in your pocket. Visit your neighborhood Tirerama or Tirerama.com today for more details. Roots, they anchor CHS to Montana. CHS is your partner for feed, for fuel, for agronomy, for grain. CHS is the largest agricultural cooperative in the world. CHS leads because our owners know this land and know how to make the most of this modern farming world. CHS is your cooperative. CHS, creating connections to empower agriculture. Returning back today, the White House has notified Congress that it will sign a trade agreement with Japan. President Donald Trump notified lawmakers he will enter into an agreement on tariffs and digital trade with Japan as the two sides wrap up talks this month. The agreement is expected to be signed along the sidelines of the United Nations General Assembly in New York this month. The agreement does not need approval from Congress and can go into effect immediately. The lower tariffs allow U.S. farmers to better compete in the Japanese market. Last year, Japanese consumers purchased over $2 billion of U.S. beef, accounting for roughly one quarter of overall U.S. beef exports. Currently, there is a 38.5% tariff placed on U.S. beef in Japan. The top U.S. agricultural exports to Japan currently include beef, of course, corn, pork, and soybeans, along with wheat, totaling $13 billion last year. And finally, today we see that in October, USDA's National Ag Statistics Service will contact beekeepers nationwide to gather information on colony loss, colony numbers, and value as part of the quarterly colony loss survey. The information helps evaluate conditions from year to year and promote programs designed to ensure the viability of beekeepers and agricultural pollination services. By participating in the survey, the information will allow USDA, beekeepers, and other interested parties to analyze data on a state-by-state -state basis and compare specific quarterly losses, additions, and movements of bees across the nation. For more, contact USDA. Well, that's all the time we have for today's Farm and Ranch News. Have a great day.